Hey guys, it's Clancy and today I actually curled my hair for the first time in months upon months upon months like probably yeah the first time since my big chop like four months ago when I went into the salon thinking I was getting a trim and then they chopped all my hair off and I was like what it definitely has grown out a lot more since then even though I've gotten trim but yeah so I woke up this morning and honestly I didn't wash my hair the night before so it all stemmed from you know being lazy and I was thinking you know I'm either gonna tie my hair back in a ponytail or I am going to curl it, which it's like, I'm like, I don't know what it's going to look like because I haven't curled my hair in so many months, you know? I got to work and I had a lot of my work done and then I was like, you know what, let me just go into the makeup room and why not? Because I get to work so early all the time, so it's not like I was work I was doing that on the clock. Like, I got to work a half hour before I had to be there, you know? So um, all of this was actually done before my shift even technically began. It's different. It's very, it's different. I feel, I like, whenever I have curly hair, I feel different than when I'm straight hair. Does that sound weird? Um, and actually a couple of viewers actually surprisingly note, I mean, I guess it's not surprising, but I didn't really think anyone noticed, but viewers were um, messaging me on social media saying they noticed. So I thought that was funny. Um, but yeah, so I wanted to show you guys kind of what I do when I come home from work every day, like my little routine. So I get home and, you know, sometimes I'll vlog, so I'll be sitting here being like, what up guys? I curled my hair today, something dumb like that. <laughs> now, it is kitchen time. This is when I go into my kitchen. This is so weird. You can see both of my rooms. You can see I have those boxes over there because I am um, a little bit of shopping, you know, just a little bit. So it's all good. We're all gonna live. We're all gonna live. And the kitchen is where the magic happens because I wait until I get home to have lunch. I'm just not hungry when I'm at work, not even that. I'm, I like. I feel like there's like no time. I'm always doing something. My job, it's not like I have a lunch break or anything. I'm, I literally just work from the time I get into like it's, it's weird. Um, but yeah, so I have lunch when I get home. So this is my kitchen, and I usually make one of two lunches. So right now I have my oven broiling, and I'm about to get some broccoli from the microwave. So that means it's gonna be a it's like an open faced sandwich kind of day. I can't explain it. You're gonna see it, but it's about to go down. And yes, I use a full bag of broccoli. That's like five for certain sizes of broccoli. You can never have too much broccoli. So I put the broccoli in the microwave for five minutes and then I put the oven on broil and then I broil the broccoli for, I don't really know how long. I kind of just wait till it gets like all black and crispy. I know it's not good for you. Trust me, people tell me that. I know it, but hey, it tastes good. YOLO. If burning my broccoli is bad, then I don't want to be right. <laughs> then I'll take a little piece of chicken a lot of people actually think I'm a vegan. I'm not, fun fact. A lot of people think so because I have a lot of allergies that, you know, prohibit me from eating a lot of things. Dairy, cheese, eggs, that type of thing. So you'd think vegan, but no, I eat meat. So really, that is where it's at. If you're a vegan, I am sorry. I know um, you hate me, but listen, chicken, tuna, salmon, That th those are the only three meats I eat, meats. <laughs> The only three kinds of meat that I eat, uh, just because I don't like anything else, I hate steak. Um, I don't like any other seafood besides tuna and salmon, and then chicken is where it's at. Uh, so yes, and um, oh, my phone just made a noise because I'm so popular. Just kidding, I'm actually really not. Now the thing about my routine that you're gonna see, I'm doing a little, little interruption right here, is that it's weird. It's like so right now it's it's noon. But it feels, so it's, but it's like, but it's not noon for me. I've been up since two, so it was a whole different ball game. But I feel guilty about like, watching TV in the middle of the day, but it's not the middle of the day. I'm just trying to watch TV like after, you know? Um, so yeah, that's something it's so, it's, a, it's hard for me to get my mind around. Like even like my meal times, you'll see, I'm eating it like a normal human. Oh shoot, my, is that my phone? Neil, my brother. Hello. What's up? Not much, what's up with you? Nothing. That's nice. Yeah. Well, alright, I guess I'll talk to you later. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Yeah. Uh. Alright, fast forward about, uh, you know, fly is on my window. I am so sick of these flies in my house. You guys don't understand. It's not a house, obviously. I live in an apartment, but... <sighs> Well, you know what? I've gotten real good at this, honestly. Boom, dead. Another one bites the dust. Anyway, I just talked to my brother for about 20 minutes about, I don't even know what, he is the most, he, I don't, I don't he's crazy. Just, he is always complaining about something. <laughs> I feel like I'm like that, like, 
positive poly and he's just like always something. I don't even know what he was complaining about politics, I think. Anyway, I just finished ugh, creating my lunch because no, I don't I don't cook, cook, I don't bake, I create. That's what I like to call it. Uh, but yeah, so I will show you what I have, what we have here. It is, as you can see, it's an open face sandwich. I have two pieces of bread, so it really would be a sandwich. Uh, one piece of chicken. The bread is actually toasted, smothered in avocado, about a fourth of an avocado, a fourth to a half. It depends on the size of the avocado. This is a fourth, but it's big avocado. And then uh, broccoli. I don't, it's just plain broccoli, but I broil it. That kind of gives it a flavor. And then I will go over there and I will watch. Normally, actually, during this time, I would watch my broadcast to kind of, you know, critique myself, find out what I could do better, that sort of stuff. But lately, I've been watching Megyn Kelly's new show on the Today Show. Um, my honest thoughts on it, thought that, thoughts on it, um, mornings. It's, she's, it's very, um, I'm, see, I'm not hating on her at all. I cannot stand everyone who's jumping to hate on her. But it's just, I was talking actually to my friend Rachel. You guys know Rachel? She, it's just Megyn Kelly is not a morning person. And I was reading something. First of all, I don't think Megyn Kelly is relatable. She's just not. I read her autobiography. At one point, I remember she was like talking about how she didn't get a job. And I was thinking, wow, so relatable. I've been there. And then she talked about how because she was too perfect, she didn't mean it in like a, in like a, I'm too perfect way. But the interviewer actually told her, it's because you're too perfect. And I'm just like, well, I don't have that problem. <laughs> um, and also, I was reading an article. She's not very likable. And that worked for her other show, her evening show, or nighttime show, I should say, rather. It was on at 9. Um, where she, you know, sparred against these big, famous men who were powerful. And she wasn't very likable, which made her very unique. Because as a woman, um, normally, you know, they're the likable person. And the men kind of um, are more of, like, the confrontational type. But she did it. And she did it great. But with morning shows, you have to be likable. Like, it's like the number one thing. Um, so yeah, I'm, I've been watching her. It's been, it's been very interesting for someone like me who is in this industry to see her adapt to this and to see how she's doing each and every day. So I've been really enjoying that. Um, and also I like to compare it to, um, I'll watch a little bit of live with Kelly and Ryan and see how they do differently. It's just cool to see a different approaches and what works for different people. What I have found most of all is just I like watching people who are themselves. You could tell Megyn Kelly on this show is not herself. I think that's her number one problem, actually, probably. She's trying to be something she's not. Um, authenticity is number one. But a fly was just on my foot. You see, I gotta go. All right, talk to you guys later. Bye-bye. Uh,